Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be solving the lead code question add binary. So this is a pretty simple question. And all we need to do is we're given two binary strings and we need to return their sum as a binary string. So the input strings are both non-empty and they only contain the characters ones, of, uh, ones and zeros. So in order to solve this question, I'm gonna go over two different solutions. So our first solution is gonna be our more generic solution. And the second is gonna be like a one-liner, which is specific to the inbuilt Python functions. So first let's try to understand how binary addition actually works. So we're gonna have something called a carry, right? And this is what is gonna get carried on to each next place. And we have these two binary numbers and let's add them. So when you have one and one, you're gonna get zero and you're gonna have a one carried on. So the one is gonna get carried on to the next place. So now you have one, zero, one. And this also has the same thing. You're gonna get a zero and the one gets carried on. Similarly over here, one, one, zero. So you get a zero and the one gets carried on. But now we have three ones. So we have one, one, and one. So over here, what happens is we get one and we have a one getting carried on. So in the last case over here, so we have one, one, one. So we have one, the one gets carried on, but since there's nothing here, we just add that one over here. So we just add the one over here and then we get one, 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 zero, zero, zero as the addition of these two binary numbers. So let's see how we can implement this using code. So we're first gonna initialize a few variables. So we're gonna start off with the carry of zero and we're gonna start with our results as being an empty string. Okay, so after we do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert A and B into lists. So this just makes it a lot easier to manipulate the values and to uh, iterate through them. Okay, and, final, and after that, we're gonna iterate through the lists and we're gonna see, and we're gonna do that if there's a value in A, so while A, or if there's a value in B, or if our carry has a value of one. So in any of those cases, we're gonna go inside of our while loop. All right, so let's say if A exists, then in that case, we're gonna remove the last item from the A list, so A.pop, so that removes the last item. And as it is, that item is a string. So we want to change that into an integer so we can add that to other values. And finally, we're going to add that value to our carry. So carry plus equals int a dot pop. Now we're going to do the same thing for b. So if b exists, so carry plus equals int b dot pop. Now we need to add the value of this to our results. But we can just do that. We can just add the carry. So let's say uh, over here we add one to it and over here we add one. The carry is gonna have a value of two. So we can't have a value of two. We can only have zeros and ones. So in order to take care of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a modulo operation. So we're gonna do carry mod two. So let's say our carry has a value of two. Then two mod two is just gonna add zero. And let's say the carry has a value of one and one mod two is one, so it's gonna add one to our final results. And as it is, this is an integer, so we need to change this to a string again. Now we gotta do one more thing. So in the very first iteration, the carry starts off at zero because there is no carry. But from the next iteration, we need to find out whether we have one or not. So how can we do that? So let's say our carry has a value of two. So that means the next iteration, the carry is gonna have a value of one. So we can change that by doing carry and we can divide that by two. Carry equals to carry divided by two. Now, the problem with this is, let's say our carry has a value of one. And when you do one divided by two, you get 0 0.5. We can't really use that. All we need is zero or one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the double division function. So when you do that, it's gonna round everything down. So if you have 0 0.5, it's just gonna become zero. Okay, so now we have our value of the carry and this is gonna keep going inside of our while loop. And finally, we need to return our result in reverse because we're returning it in reverse because 
we're popping out the last element. So that's why we need to return it in reverse. Okay, so now let's submit this. And our submission did get accepted. So now let's look at a different solution and a different way to solve this question. So let's now look at our second solution, which is going to be our Pythonic solution. So what we're going to do is we're first going to convert our binary strings A and B into integers. So to do that, all we have to do is int A comma 2 and int B comma 2. And all this does is it converts the string to integers with base 2. And then afterwards, we're going to put this all inside of the bin function. And what this does is it converts the integer to a binary string form. And we only want the answer from the second index. So we're going to iterate through that and we're just going to return this. And so this should be our answer. So let's submit it. Forgot to put the addition sign over here. And yeah, all right, so let's submit it again and see if it works this time. Okay, so our solution did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have a better solution than these two. And thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.